the holder of the noose. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of the noose. Should the worker ignore you, leave. It is not yet time. If the worker should go limp, however, promptly close your eyes. The commotion of other staff members rushing around in confusion will immediately be heard. The voices will condemn you, asking what happened. Keep your eyes shut and do not reply, lest you will suffer a fate so unimaginable that the human mind is unable to fathom it. When all is silent, it is safe. Open your eyes. If successful, you should find yourself in front of a staircase. Ascend the stairs. As you do so, voices pleading for help will sound below. Do not ignore these voices. Instead, reply calmly. There is no help for you now. If the cries continue, stand still and accept the gruesome fate about to befall you. If the cries stop, proceed. Eventually you will come to a door engraved with a unique symbol. At the bottom of the door is a dagger. To gain access to the room, you must engrave the symbol onto one of your hands. Once done, touch the knob with the same hand. The door should open. If it doesn't, pray someone of better ability than yourself picks up where you left off. You will not be returning home. When the door opens, you will be greeted with the sight of a girl, a boy, and a noose. Ignore the girl and ask the boy what happened to the others. Say anything else, and you'll forever regret not hanging yourself with the noose while you could. The boy will speak of how the other visitors were lost and forgotten through time. The tale will make your soul feel such pity, disgust, and unworthiness that you will begin to debate whether or not to kill yourself at that moment so as to be saved from any possible future mistakes. When he is finished, the girl will ask if you'd like to know anything more. Do not acknowledge her. When it is clear you will say no more, the boy will command you to turn around. Defy his orders. Instead, watch as he proceeds to set up the noose and force the girl's head through it. All the while, she will shriek and cry for help with tears running down her cheeks. Approach with the dagger in hand and give it to the boy, releasing all hope from the girl. After all is done, the boy will cut off a patch of the girl's hair and bring it over, enclosed in a barrette, engraved with the same bleeding symbol on your hand and the door. Exit the way you came, finding yourself in the same spot in the lobby where you began. Though this time, no one is around and the worker remains limp. The barrette with stray hair is object number 296 or 538. Do not remove the hairs, for they represent your life.